so we like, yeah, nigga, what was you, what was happening? I was like, man, I was smashing, I was smashing old girl the whole tour. <sighs> <sighs> I really liked her, bro. <sighs> <sighs> And I'm like, bro, that's not your girl. Like, what's up? You cool? Yeah, man. He go to the bathroom. Come back like, all right. I'm talking about, oh, grab his stomach. So you, you, you've been smashing his girls for a this long time. This wasn't his this girl. Not, this was a random no, chick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, Fizz. I'm not going this was a random chick, oh, this bro. Is, this is a random. This is a random this is, that was on the road with us. You feel me? One of the dancers? No. Somebody on the road with us. Was it with the rapture in the ballroom? <laughs> so, so when we got back and when we had this meeting in a dirt field and they telling us this shit is over, mm. they go in to say, we know about y'all wanting to leave. We know about y'all wanting to get out of y'all deal and, and do your own thing. I know about you fucking such and such. I'm like... You a bitch ass nigga, hey, who, bro. Who's saying that? That's not. That's, that's management saying okay, this management. shit. So he done went back and told them everything we discussed about leaving them. Oh, 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 because y'all had a. Because he told him about the girl. Oh, I said, oh, tell him the truth. That's what I'm saying. I broke the camel's back. I was telling so him. So he went back and snitched on us. Oh, this brought the snitching in, nigga. That's oh, what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, that piece right there was like, oh, I'm telling. So. Fuck. That was that. That's how that's how the shit originally ended, right? Man, Lil Fitz and J Bull giving it up in that interview, bro. Talking about Omarion got in his feelings because Lil Fitz was smashing a chick that was on tour with them. But he said it wasn't his girl. So I'm assuming that it was like a groupie that wanted to come along for the tour and Lil Fitz ended up smashing. So she probably was smashing both of them. You know what I'm saying? But Omarion probably thought it was just both of them. And then when he found out she was smashing Lil Fizz, he he told the higher ups and snitched on, you know, how the group was talking about breaking up and, you know, doing their own thing. And then that's when the group officially was over. And then, of course, years later, Lil Fizz went and did the same thing. He smashed Omarion X and baby mama you know what i'm saying even though they're not together no more but still so you smash at least two of a marion girls and they say the two things that's gonna break any group up or any male friendship is two things that's most likely gonna happen a woman gonna be involved or money those two of the top things that will crush a male friendship or a group so it was women, of course. And Omarion, he was the only one that took off and had a successful career. Lil Fizz and J Boog, I can't name not one song or feature that they did that was outside of B2K. So at the end, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? All they doing is talking about Omarion. You would never hear Omarion sitting down in an in-depth interview talking about Lil Fizz, J Boog, you know, anybody with a B2K, because he gonna feel like he's, he, He's too big to talk about them. Like, like, why am I talking about y'all? He probably look at Lil Fizz and Jay Book like, y'all are beneath me. Y'all don't got millions of dollars in y'all bank account. Y'all ain't got my life, man. But Lil Fizz is a fool, man. What y'all think about this? It's Bubby. I'm out.